这个，有点远。Yeah, yeah, what's up, Chris? Na na na. And the how? Well, she may have shared, but she may have forgot. She told us the apostles today, like a famous thing. Yeah, shall we come to all the brothers and mothers across the world and push the truth? Na. Yeah, let me see. Shall we come to the? Yeah, this is the brother from the famous um nigga Cam. Um, yeah, shall I along with the brother um Rob? You know what? Um, police, right? You know, and it's time, it's time. You know, I've、like、seen a lot of things happening right across the world. You know, you know, between the prophecies and the idea of what about prophecy, especially, you know, you know, we see the prophecies and the speaking. But how far, brother, we can start off, you know, with that scripture, Habakkuk two, verse two. Can start our one. This is Habakkuk two, verse one. So I will stand upon my watch. I sit me upon the top, and will watch to see what he will say unto me. What shall I answer when I am reproved? And the Lord answered and said unto me, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. He said, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. He said, But at the end it shall speak and not lie. The scripture says, "The vision, which is the prophecies, the prophecies, right? right the prophecies, right? Are for appointed time, but again it shall speak. And now the prophecies are speaking, right? right? All the prophecies are speaking right now. So now we still don't know. We can't say, you know, reach the end of this side, you know, kingdom, you know, a second and last minute because now we see the prophecies, in, you know, popping up, you know, left, right, and center right now." He said, "Do it, tarry." No, sorry. He said, "Do it, tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry." And not tarry, not more. Everything moving fast now, right? Everything will move fast. It's not like what back in the days, you know, the early days, and it should, you know, when it's, you know, waiting for certain move, make all these things happening. It's true, constantly, one back of the other. Right, so we're very close right now to, you know, don't fall off. You know, this little society, this half of all, all things is happening right now. Right. Yeah, we、um, get into this now. So it says, as I'm right, as he says, Spain, Mount Beast, peacetime disaster recovery operation as did as delete tool, which is two hundred and fourteen. He said the deadliest flash floods in Spain's modern history have deleted at least two hundred and fourteen people, and dozens are still unaccounted for. Four days, eh? Okay, can can. This is something up. Yeah, cause you know, you know, we see oh, um, see um, two hundred, you know, East America, you know, and you know, much people. The, uh, get put to death and all these things. You now you see, you know, the flood is in um in Spain, right? And you know, I can't, you know, what um just say, right? These these um men because after these after these floods, you know, and hurricane, you know that, you know, he saw the one behind it because you know they are basically out of running out of time. And I will believe that that is behind it for these things. Right, they don't keep the system. Them, them half system. Them create all these things, right? And even out in Jamaica, you know, say, say what? By tomorrow, tomorrow to choose, you know, to, to post, um, get some. Uh, get some so we see things happening across the world, right? So we understand. I know that the time is very serious, and this, all these things, going to basically lead to one thing, which is down part, right? And these things basically help to push this item. Agenda move because you know them have them so sustainable development goals them right you know certain goals account to them right you know certain places for them deem as disasters do it people supposed to move out of places right so them can you know, bring them in the in the, in the cities because you know they are pushing there they are the fifteen minute cities right so all these you know, tiny one right these are them agenda all these things are happening right now you know. I'll leave back one thing as mentioned, right? 
So, um, so four days after torrential rain swept the eastern region of Valencia, President Pedro Sanchez said on Saturday in a televised, televised statement, Sanchez said the government was sending 5,000 more troops to help with the searches and cleanup in addition to 2,500 soldiers already deployed. This quote, he said, it is the biggest operation by the armed forces in, in Spain in peacetime. Sanchez said, the government is going to mobilize all the resources necessary as long as they are needed. He said, this tragedy is already Europe's worst flood-related disaster since 1967, when at least 500 people died in Portugal. Mm. All right, and at the end of the day, you know, see, you know, if you have your riches, you are, you know, you're asked, you know, in this society. Let's keep us it. Right, um, we are hearty. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, bring it on. Portugal. And this is um much six. We start at um nineteen. It's a for it's a lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where mud and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Exactly. Right. So you know we're seeing what happened right now with the whole economic thing, right? Because see, um the U.S. dollar. It's dying so fast, rapidly. You see that the take place in America, hyperinflation. That's basically what's coming for America. Right? But when you get that up for your soldier, you can say, treasure has been hurt. Right? Nothing not sure here. Right? You do your wealth, you, you, you have no sure in this society. Even in Spain, you see a lot of care get destroyed. Right? A lot of people lose them, them, them basically. You know, then the vehicle and all these things though, because you know, in the society it's really short. Right. And I can't be I can't do these um elites them say by what? By twenty thirty. Uh going on to what? 2020, 2025, next year, 2025. By twenty thirty I can't get the deadline, they're gonna uh, live happy and want nothing. Right? So nothing is true yes. Right, I have a scripture in um our uh, first Timothy can't find a scripture anywhere. Um, first, the first Timothy, uh, six, six, or seven. Have it, man. Have it, man. Yeah, go bring it on. This first Timothy six, verse seventeen said, Charge them that are rich in this world, said that they be not I minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, that but in the poor. Yeah, uncertain riches, you you know, which is not you know, we have in the society, the position we have right now is uncertain. This fear for currency, or this fiat currency, as I was going to put it, is uncertain. Can, can, uncertain riches. Yeah. You say, but in the living poor, who will give us, give it us, rich are things to enjoy. I'm just jumping back into hello. Yeah, sure, I'm up. Yeah, we'll just jump back into the Matthew, uh, Matthew 6, verse 20. Now he said, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither mud nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So, key point now he said, Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Oh. Yes, as the act was speaking about earlier, if if you are if the things of this life are what you are fancied about, then you know go care about the heavenly father. You're gonna care about the things that are on the earth. Things are earthly. So all the different things, tangible things that you have here now, you want going to want to preserve them. Man. Let us bring out a precept as I speak about that. Um, this is um, Second Corinthians 4, 
verse 18 to the point is of why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Exactly. So everything we have right here now is temporal, man. Right? Everything on the earth right now is just for a moment. Fun. Exactly. Right? Everything, as the brother mentioned, is just basically a part of that. We have right now in the society. We cannot yeah. give the to the, the kingdom of us. Right? The people said, the wisdom and knowledge are going to be the, the strength and stability of that time. So they're going to be able to stay stable in days ago. There's a hard, loose, you know, society turned upside down. You know, men, man, men can fuse, as people say, men's men heart. Feel me. But hurt, right? Because this man, go even make this, you know, for many days to come. That word, some of the good people, you know, still, still, firm, rooted, when everybody is above all. No, to the mass majority, it's, it's true. It seems as nothing to them, but it is a come more wish than they listen. They wish them, 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 Right? Let me just find a scripture for your account. Oh, now Israel sit there. You know, this is um, the speak word at Second Israel um, 16 verse. We start 16. You see? So for the for bearing the burning wrath of a great multitude is killed over you, and he shall take away certain of you, and feed you being feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, and they that consent unto them shall be added in derision, and reproach, and trodden on the foot, for they shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right, break up. I break up. Yeah, like the internet again, but uh, we must continue. Yes, sir. Okay, hear me now. Hear me now. Yeah, man. Good, good. Okay, so the Healy said they know that we basically are going to receive, you know, great things. Right? In the near future, they're basically, they're basically appearing right now, for, you know, for fights, with others, how we shine. And the plan is to get rid of the mass majority of us. Right? Because if, if they can get rid of us, right, then can find the physical real paper and ever. That's basically what they, they, they plan or they believe now. Right? That's what they may believe. But they know that they know understand and know that we we got next. Right? <laughs> they're preparing to come at us. And they're gonna come hard to them, they're gonna go easy, they're gonna go very, very hard. So as put the scripture in Genesis, you know, yeah. Um, this is um twenty right it's said that um um Isa which is basically a so called white man today they said he is a one more of my morning father is that I was slaying my brother I was slaying brother Jacob so we I know when they're gonna lose their power the catalyst they're not gonna ever rise again they're not gonna ever you know be on top last time Isa is gonna be on top Right, and it's the top it's the same of the society, you know, the top um move it directly, you know that. So they're gonna go all out again for the time to come. Right, people say the first part of our all to do this over you, know about who can people. Right? Because like an Indian about to come at us with everything. Right? And they're gonna keep full when it comes to weapon and this guy. He said, he said, they shall be like madmen spearing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that will love. 
He said, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. He said, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Exactly. Right. Right. That's 14 and verse 22. As it's here, yeah, yeah, this um, first Corinthians 3, verse 11. So, for other foundation can no man lay, then that is laid, which is Yahusha Mashiach. So, now if any man build upon this foundation, so gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble, so every man's work shall be made manifest, for they shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So all of us are going to get proven. We're going to get fit, limit. Right? And as um, they approach more and more, you know, you have, um, you know, all different you know, spirits, you know, you know, trying to basically get distracted, right? Because, you know, the mass majority of people, our people, they're distracted, but, you know, you have, you know, as time goes by, more and more, you know, you know, these, um, spirits coming out, you get to this, from what, from what really, truly really matter, which is true. Things of this world, families. But you have to always remember this is number one thing in our life. You have to basically always remember that too. And continue, continue to basically, you know, um, exalt each other, deal and skip yourself. Yeah, because the ideas I mentioned, this is the whole thing I was standing with the come. Everything, every thing I feel. Right, one brother? Now continue. Yeah, we finish. Um, we get this, um, Isaiah 59, verse 19, is. And so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. So when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Right. Right. Lord will lift up a standard against this, uh, you know, because they're going to come at us because they're not going to get all of us. They're going to get, you know, two thirds as scripture said. Okay. Right. The Lord ever give us over to them in Psalms 124. Let's talk to brother. Yeah, yeah, man, I guess it's good. Um, I said, I'm gonna receive this piece of coin. This is for us, so you know, one of the two things. I'm ready. What Psalms 124 verse 1 says, It had not been the Lord who was on our side. No may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, he said, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. He said, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. He said, then the proud waters had gone over our souls. He said, blessed be Yahweh. Who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Can't. Right? He said, can't, can't. will not give us over as a prey to their teeth. Right? So they are really They shall be like what? Madman, hearing none. So they shall spare nobody, they shall have mercy. Right? But all four things, you know, go to go to this time of slavery. Right, but in, in, in the United Kingdom, we go to, you know, you know, on a, on a, on a east side, you know, when we did back to the visit of the Indian and all that, it's, you can't come to the people, they're both going to be like, they're going to be like, they're going to be fast, please. We've got to have all the different things. 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 
right? Two. Right, basically, you know the sword, you know the preserver, let and destruction. Weapon, the good pan, the good pan at least, and weaponize everything. Coming on to me. Those are things now they do about them to go for pains to the time of slavery. They have to be in right now to do those are things. Yeah. People say, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us, you know, as I pray to the feet because if you live in the father, how harsh you may try and excite people to come and do. Because he has done it for himself. Right? Right, give it how is that? Norman Homan in a name prediction. He deliver his saves. Right? Go on, brother. Yeah, we have a quick one. A quick one, my boy. Huh? So we have a quick one, my boy. Go on, brother. Go on, go on. All right. So this is the, uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord. Disappoint him. Toss him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Exactly. From men Truth. which... Go ahead, go ahead. Truth to the point, yo. Deliver my, deliver my soul from the, from the wicked. Who is the wicked? Right. I'm going to Malachi 1 and verse 4 and explain to you who is the wicked. Why Edom, which is the so-called white people today, they are true biblical Edomites. Thou shalt call in the border of wickedness. Right? Continue, brother. All right, so my verse, all right, so verse 14 now says, From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hidden treasures. I mean, God. hidden treasure. God, from men of the world, They're talking about men of the world, men of this world, men that rule in this world, right? The elites who are sharp. I'm still here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, yes, I'm still here. All right, yeah, yeah you're, you're good still. You're still on track, All right? Which is the elite them. You know? That's basically the man. He leads them. The wicked rulers of his hurt. That rule in the society. They are they are basically wicked. They have leave their substance to their beef because they will pass from generation to generation. Right, they keep read them waiting it. The Remember this. Remember read it for you. Um, Psalm seventeen and verse fourteen, the latter part. It says, "They are full of children and leave right. the rest of their substance." To their babes. Yeah. God. They will pass to them. Pass on mm -hmm. from them. Yeah. Right. They both lose every single thing to. Right. Yeah. Even if I didn't tell you how she both take everything from them. Yes. And them deserve to lose everything because when you look at the condition of people, the condition of earth, then they the deserve to have it. That them can't take care of the creation, Yahweh Shimon Shai creation. And ultimately, you know, Colossians 1 and 15, you know, it's, it, it all belongs to Yahweh Shai. You know, the scripture says, I have preeminence over everything. Well, um, give me, 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 give all right, so James 511, bear me. And the Bible, memorize the book itself no more <laughs> with the tablet, you know? All right, so James chapter 5 and 1, it says, Go to know, ye rich men, weep and all for your miseries that shall come upon you. Yeah. Miseries that rich... Go ahead, go ahead. It's like a... He leads them, the head, rock child, Rockefeller's and down. This is what the scripture said. 
go to now we rich men. Weep and all for your miseries that shall come upon you. Because basically what preparing to come at you, come upon all of them. They believe for a jump on them. They think they're going to accomplish them basically a new world order fully. What the scripture yeah. tell us. Right, go on. All right, so verse 2 now says, Your riches are corrupted and your garments are mutton eaten. Are mutt eaten. Your gold and your silver is conquered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. And ye have Eat treasures together for the last days. Yes, yeah, so they are preparing for the last days. You know. They are putting up their, their 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 goals and all these things. You know, you know, preparing for you know bring for this third world war destruction, right? Have mm -hmm. them things and all these things. You know, right, prepare to come and rebuild after the destruction of the society. Yeah. Right? Remember that. Um, verse. Oh, what's that? Verse 4 now says, Behold, the ire of the laborers um, who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept, uh, I mean, which is of you kept back by fraud. Try it. And the cries of them which have reaped and entered into, I mean, have reap are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. A lot of farmers. Right. 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 All right, so verse 5 now says, Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been wanton. Ye have... Yeah. Right? So now we're coming to the end of their basically little season that the scriptures speak about, Revelation 20. So that's the time we're coming to the end of it. Right? The time winding down. Remember that? All right, so it says, Ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemn and kill the just, and he do not resist you. Yeah, people still are trying basically to see some form of acceptance from these men. All the things that they bring to you. I have um, Esau coming out, you know, all the tell Jake, you know, say, you know, drop it, drop it. You know, I get a penny for the reparation, leave it alone. You know, I get none, so take it and forget about it. In other words, you know, I get a penny. How we be discussing facts of facts from these men? Yeah. Uh, I see, see that, like, yeah, bro. If that's the ad, you see, when the brother read, um, I um, you know, the brother they mentioned Isaiah 33 and verse 6, speak about the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. And that's how our people lacking. That's why they make them vain cry there for reparation money. Money were pretty much inflated, it, it dollar a week, and then. The damage that this man has done to us. There is no amount of money we can pay for to fix the problem. The only solution is we having him back in slavery. Okay, scripture tell you in a number say only the blood that spill out can cleanse the land. Right, 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 right. And enough of our people blood this man shed. And shedding still because it happened stuff. Our people feel like say we're in a good time. We're still in a enemy territories. We're still under our enemy. And <laughs> it might come down with great wrath. 
that he might push hard for establishing fourth industrial revolution slash you know new world order. So this man has come down with all kind of style. It just you know just we just have to just give thanks every day to your boss you have opened our eyes. Because our people clearly them not see what are going, you know. See them thing I have to feel us even appreciate what your boss you have done for you, you know. To show you what are going. Because most of our people them just asleep, you know. Mm, scripture saying keep his right forever. Not yeah. two weeks, not two months, not yeah, two years. Forever. Uh, never quick precept um, on the mind thing and how oh, blessed we are. And whoever, you know, Yahweh Shemir Shai, I rest, you know, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And you're blessed, you know. All right, so this is um, Sirach, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 22. Um, verse 16 it says as timber gird and bound together in a bundle cannot be loose with shaking so the art that is established by advice counsel shall fear at no time a art settled upon a thought of understanding is as a fear plastering on the wall of a gallery right so a man you know with the understanding of the bible the understanding of who you have about shimmy and shy you know who they are you know the god of abraham isaac and jacob and our lord and our savior you shy once you know these men and you fear them and you serve them in spirit and in truth and you meet you know you're, you're the right teachers who are written on the bible properly you're truly blessed now, by Shimei and Shai, as calling, call you, and you're blessed, you know. But our people without these fun, fundamental knowledge, you know, the name of your God, who you are, know your enemies, and the Bible prophecies, and what is to come, and having faith in your Shai, people who lack these things, you know, they're pretty much in a very dangerous position. Because it's all of the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, you know. Alright, just yeah, yeah, my precept. Article, article. Oh, right. now you know the other one. That one. This is from the Daily Mail. This one in four Americans predict riots after the election, and ten percent fear a civil war. Whoever wins, poll finds. It's a fight that broke out at polling stations and election workers have gone through active shortages. There have been threats to blow up political offices and ballot boxes have been set on fire before what could be the closest presidential election in history. Staff trusted with overseeing the vote on Tuesday are facing chaos and bracing for violence. It's a, with memories of 2020 resurfacing, many have taken extra precautions to turn local precincts into fortresses, and extra cops are being deployed nationwide on November 5th. The aftermath could also be fraud with fiction, with some states of shy warning that the result could take days to be finalized, and in some of the seven Battleground states raise a thin margin between DJ Trump and Kamala Harris in the poll show that result could depend on just a few thousand votes. Well, right, so you know, civil war, civil land was take place in America in a bit of a, you know, the things are happening right now, right? That's pretty, pretty heavy in America, right? And, and, it could be, it can be, because if you walk the script, Good. right, you know, it, it can happen, right, hopefully, it can happen, because it's basically prophecy, and all prophecy have to come to pass, should I say it, right, um, Lord say, nothing Not can be put, no, I take, no, yeah, you have to come to pass, so, you know, 
Hindi nga na, no, no. God, so, it's what, all things in the future of the place, you know, right now. So anything fast right now, you know, the people even, that are these um, militias, you know, are these, um, you know, my team, America, they believe in, in, in Donald Trump. Believe that Donald Trump can save America because America is going down, right? You see what happened to the US dollar right now, you know, much country, you know, you know, yeah, and what become a part of the BRICS. So then that America finish. Yeah, America America is going on far. Right? So anything can happen. Right? We can skip to the fifteen. I love it. I'm it. I'm it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is the book of um second Ezra's. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. All right, so second Ezra chapter fifteen and one it says Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Can jump to verse 14, bro. Verse 14 now says, um, Woe to the world! And them and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction dry nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And that's sword. That's basically what prepared to take place right now in America. One people fight you know, against another. Right? Democrats against the Republican. And Trump what has it? It will believe, you know, that Donald Trump can save America. That, uh, you know, Donald Trump, you know, slogan is to make America great again. That's basically what these, these, these um, men that are in Tito might believe now. That uh, Donald Trump can. Right? So you can say, people are going to stand up to fight against another. Root war. Right? Civil war. That's basically what the scripture is speaking about. And this prophecy is going to take place. In America, you know, in full effect, because America is a place where the heart of Jacob is going to take place. Right? Go on again, brother. All right, so it says, And one people shall stand up and fight against another, God. and swords in their hands. The in their Fire. hands. Go. Machine, knife. Right? Um, so let, um just. Today, I, I saw a reel where a, a video, a short video with the elder brother from um, uh, LA, LA, um, Michael Allah, I think Michael Allah is his name, yeah, the elder brother. Where in, in the video, a GF said he went to a gun store to, 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 to purchase, you know, whatever weapon or ammunition. And the man said, I mostly eat your mind, seem seen at a place. And them are go through them are stack up them are stack up on weapon and uh, ammunition i man saying see down to couple and it was one like 1 p.m in the afternoon in lunch break him taking lunch break and all this and he said the store packed with either mites he was the only joke i must say yo my people they need to come get stuff because them <laughs> people they are prepared them are prepared for something yeah just today i saw that yeah, man, preparation, man, spirit of, universal, spirit of, you know, tradition is very high, man. Civil war or civil land spirit is very heavy in America right now. Can. Brother. Finish? Right, so, uh, no, 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 this is not finish. All uh, right, so back in second, um, second is chapter 15 and verse, um, 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men. And invaded one another, they shall not regard their king, or I mean kings, nor princes, 
and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because... Uh, yeah, I say something, bro. You right? so, you know, you're going to have certain streets, you know, shut down, certain lanes. You know, when you have military ch chuck pine, you know, they get to get a camp over one thing the other. Right? They have to physical what to do in the place. Right? They're going to try to lock down, lock down, you know, lock down all the streets. They try to control the mass, majority, uh, mass, majority of the people, because, you know, you have uproads, chaos. You're going to try to, you know, try to keep back, get back some harder. Right? They're gonna have certain places locked down because they're gonna bring they're gonna they're gonna bring a lot of people, you know, in the near future into these uh concentration camps. Or these the are these between the centers you know, give them a digital device that basically found to prophecy. Yep. Right? All these things basically written, they're gonna take place. Uh see we can get uh make sure we can get uh Reve let's uh, drop Revelation two and ten real fast since you mentioned that lack of timing and these things are biblical with the brother i mentioned because the lord everything that takes place man here at the lord movie you know so this is revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 it says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, so, um, men of the Lord are get put in a, in a, in a, in a lock up, just like a regular Jake. You know, because he saw he that we might create some scenario where make things that work how he wanted to work. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I may think about that. See him, it's good. That, I, I don't say be faithful unto that um up revelation there. Right? Yeah. Uh, again, yeah, it you want to read about that part. Come on, it's again over kosher. Uh, uh, so Revelation um two and ten. I read it real fast. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That sure is, sure is that the Lord value integrity, man. Certain men gonna get bearded to the word I have in the past. Right? I go on back to scripture, brother. No. When they bring it, the second is us. Yeah, second is us. You want the second is us? Did you finish? Um, about two more verses to leave. All right, bring it to one and continue. All right, so back in second is us, chapter 15 and verse 13, it says, For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah. I'm a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And, and lack of bread, shards of food, right? And great tribulation. You're going to be the cities of the cities, you know, try to survive. Right, we're gonna take a lot as I mean, as we mentioned now earlier and make it sure the data become. Right? Even the part that will be on the side. Right? As the brother mentioned in the video, 
you know, this side of here, buying up a lot of guns, you know, while Jake distracted, you know, he saw a period, you know. Mm -hmm. I think you didn't finish, you know. Um, yeah, that they done an article time. What I said, say in the survey of 1,003 likely voters conducted with jail partners, more than 25% think that they will be writing whether Harris or Trump wins, and 10% fears there will be a civil war. So just over one in five, 22% think a democratic victory will lead to a repeat of January 6th and 21 percent think that the elections think that election sites are democratic officials will be targeted by direct attacks say Harris voters are, are more likely to believe that rioting will take place but the Republicans are split on whether the election will be run fairly So if Donald Trump wins the ele electoral college, narrowly, however, Americans think there is a higher chance of violence in the streets in the forms of furious protests. Mm -hmm. Right. Isaiah, Isaiah 19. Yeah, we can, we can, we can. Yeah, yeah. Um, bring it up. Bring it up. Isaiah 19. Two. Start at one. one. Isaiah 19 verse 1 said, The burden of Egypt is a bureau the Lord ridden, ride it like a, upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And yes, the because, yeah, because he saw he done, right, gonna bring total care, you know, the Father, you know, we know that the Father, your yeah, house. In the house, try it's basically using these men to do all these things so the traffic is going get far. So, all the cases when the Pope and the Earth going to lead to right one thing or lot of safety. I will shy right and slow people ignorant if all Jesus making him sick and return. I'm going to enter because the Lord the Lord of Homer in the midst of this third world for our destruction, right? So, it's better than Egypt today, right? It's America, you know, can't do. What we interpreted, um, later on, you know, spiritually known as Adam and Eve, that city, which is America, that great city that really over the earth, which is America, right? Spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. So, you must say, bird in, yeah, get better. It's a bird in Egypt to be on the Lord arrive upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. And the midst of it is like okay. it. He said, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. This is what this scripture right now to take place right in America. The tension is poor, tension is very high in America. The Lord said, the Egyptians against. Egyptians, particularly Egyptians, the Edomites, so called white people. Right. They are the, the, the Egyptians today, modern day Egyptians. Right? So you have the, the, the Trump supporters against you know the, who believe in Kamala Harris. Right? Against them. So you see what preparing to take place as the brother mentioned, you know, guns buying up. Right? Preparing for anything, anything or anything as well as South in Jamaica. Right, one Trump for win because Trump can set up things, you know, them the right way. Or them want to win. Right, so anything possible. No. The Egyptian, like the Egyptian, right? I'm going to fight. But how to set up then? But keep the Egyptian, you cannot stand. Come, come, you know, maybe. <laughs> So I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians 
and he shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom city against city people against people state against state in a community against community all right go on he said the spirit of egypt shall fail in the midst thereof and i will destroy the cones thereof and he shall seek to the elders and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizard right they're going to try to find some you know how how they believe in our or them highlands when they believe that they hit it they don't need hands you know as i mentioned earlier you know the video the days to come you know that's how people are going to wish them take you to the studio because you're going to take a Right, so he, 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 he going to run to the hiders, even Jeff, that's our people. <laughs> so they, I will help them in days to come. It's a very nice scripture. They shall see the hiders. Go on, brother. Read, read it again, one top. You see. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord. And a fierce king shall rule over them, say the Hawa, the Lord of hosts. Right. Right. Mm. I mean, Oh. Three, um, verse 20, 25. No, 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 and ere bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand a sword is sent upon the, upon you and who may turn it back yeah pretty much i uh, yeah, you know. yeah a sword is sent upon you what is that sword oh. i me tell right yeah no. and it's, and it's, is the Lord of the prophet, the Lord of the prophet, write it down with a question and say, Who may turn it back? Who? So, Donald Trump cannot reverse the destruction of America. You know, Kamala Harris cannot reverse the part that America has been set on and is a part that will lead to destruction at the will of the Lord. Um, see that, um, um, Rob. I mean, yeah. you can look up one book for me. No, you just you keep this on the screen, but let's open the next tab. I look up one book. We name um, boom, boom, boom. We name Trump, Trump. You remember Donald Trump's son name? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. They're fine. That's fine in Trump. And just put in one book. You know, the book, them have the book is an old book. I know them say, I'm Trump. Yeah. Who's that? Baron, yeah, Baron, uh, Baron. Mm. Yeah, Baron Trump. I uh, saw the book name. And in it, them said, like, Baron Trump is going to be the last president for America. Like, Trump is going to be the last president. Almost oh, fine. Yeah, you can you know if you can find a part. But you can just get back to where we are dealing with now. And there's any juicy part you find in a book where you can bring. But, you know, they buck up on the knowledge and just want to share it if you have a second, you know? All right, still like it, still like it about that um, mission. Well, good, man. Give, give me the Jeremiah. They're fine, eh? Jeremiah um, 51 and 7. Yes, Go on. All right, so the Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7 says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, the nations of drunken of her wine, Therefore, the nations are mad. 
Babylon is sudden, suddenly fallen and destroyed. All for her, take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Son, as I mentioned, I'm on a hurry to This is the time of Hamza. There's not at all we can do to bring back America. America is finished. Right, no matter what they want, try out them out, they cannot physically see. Then I try to see America. The capital is again. This is this is for America. America. No. Right. Mm. Uh, Jeremiah fifty-one and nine. We would have healed Babylon, but she's not healed. Forsake her. <laughs> America is a Babylon today. That's yep. the Babylon. Right. Uh, and let oh, like uh, we say um yes, man, say that again. Uh, okay. Oh 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 all right. Jeremiah fifty one and verse nine. It says, And let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reached unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, we just have a quick jump just in the book uh, same Jeremiah 51 and verse 11 now it says make bright the arrows gather the shields the Lord had raised up the spirit of the kings of the means Far. right 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 yes yeah, so it says for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because yeah. it is the vengeance of the Lord, the Lord vengeance. I mean, the vengeance of the Lord is temple, right? So, <laughs> you know, um, yes, my the precept yeah. it does prove say uh, why no man can reverse the destruction of Babylon because it's the vengeance of the Lord. And the yeah. Lord, whoever resists his will. Who, who, whoever resists Yahweh Bashimashai's will. Nobody. Yeah, <laughs> see. Yeah, I get it, Rob. What is that? Hmm? Oh. Oh, oh, 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 Whatsoever you have a do, it shall be forever. So nothing can be put to it, nor anything can t anything taken away from it. But you have a do it that men should fear for him. And straight to the point. Even if I do to men physically fear for him, because in the idea he is the one in control. He is. Right? That's it. That's it. That's part of your power. This is how I'm moving. How can I tell you? I'm doing a 
Parce que oui, ça va être un peu passé. Il y a un peu de Oh, oh, ok, ok. Ya chamai. 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 Rapidly, even if I swing it, I do. Can I Yeah, this is the book of Mark, chapter 3 and verse 24. Can say, don't you, man? Yeah, that may I look for that's on the point. It says, all right, Matthew 3 and 23, it says, yeah, and he called them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. I want me to say, all right, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Like, yeah. All right, so this is Mark chapter 3 and verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in a parable how can satan cast out satan and if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand and if satan rise up against himself he be divided he cannot stand but add and end. So, that's the hen of Isa, you know, word. This is the hen of Isa, word. One more picture. One more picture of the mic. Um, first Peter, of, uh, verse 7. 4 and 7. All right. <laughs> yeah, First Peter, so it's about the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Okay. All right, so the end of all things is at hand. We can see that right now. The end of, you know, the earth is at hand. Very clear right now. Yeah. All things you know, happening right now across the world. All right. Yeah. I finish, brother. You finish, sir. The article finished, all right? Yeah, man. Can I just I showed it statistics. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. right, right. You don't have a scripture. Yeah, man. I have one. All right. So this is J Jeremiah 51 and verse 33. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to trash. It is time to trash her yet a little while. And the time of her harvest shall come. And shalom again to all the brothers I'm out there to the few sisters to the farm. And pretty soon we're going to leave Babylon. Yeah, shalom. Yeah.
Eyvallah.